So we're gonna be talking about this word again today, and it is eggs. And it starts with the letter E. So we learned yesterday that lots of different animals and insects come from eggs. And we know that the main one we were talking about was a chick coming from an egg. But I wanna know, how does that happen? In what order does that happen? So we're gonna talk about first, second, third, and fourth, or last. All right, so the first thing that happens, first, it starts out as a what? What does a chick start out as? It starts out as an egg. Next, or second, it hatches. When the egg starts cracking and the animal starts coming out, we call that hatching. Third, we have a chick. And the last thing that happens, or the fourth thing that happens, what does it turn into? A chicken, an adult chicken. Just like people that start as babies, and then they get a little bit older and a little bit older, and then they're an adult. So we have a baby, and then we have children, and then we have adults. So it's kind of very similar the way that they go in a life cycle. But do we come from eggs, just like chicks? No, that's silly. All right, so I have a story that I wanna share with you, and it has what on the front cover? It's a chicken, and what's a chicken doing? It looks like maybe, maybe looking at the egg. Hmm, maybe talking to the egg. I don't know, we'll have to find out. So the title or name of my book is called The Chick That Wouldn't Hatch by Claire Daniel. That's the author and we know the author writes the story. And the illustrator is Lisa Campbell Ernest and the illustrator draws the pictures. I hope you could do that with me. All right, so let's see what's happening with this chicken and this egg. The chick that wouldn't hatch, okay. Pay attention because we're gonna do a little graphic organizer at the end about this story. There were six eggs in hen's nest. Chip, chip, out popped five chicks. One, two, three, four, five. My family, cried hen. One egg didn't hatch. It rolled out of the nest. Oh no! Stop that egg, Hen called. The egg kept going. It rolled over and over past the pig pen. Stop that egg, Hen called. Wow, there it goes. Pig couldn't catch it, so he ran too. The egg kept going. It rolled over and over past the pond. Stop that egg, called hen and pig. Now the hen and the pig are chasing after the egg. Duck couldn't catch it, so she ran too. The egg kept going. It rolled over again and again past the tomato patch. Stop that egg, called hen and pig and duck. Now all three of them are chasing the egg. Horse couldn't catch it, so he ran too. The egg skipped over a ditch. Stop, stop, cried hen. It hopped over a fox. There it goes, oh no. The egg rolled into the shed and hit the wall. Crack. <gasps> The chick that wouldn't hatch had hatched. Oh my goodness. My baby hen cried. Mom, said the chick. That's silly, do chicks talk like we do? No. What a ride I had. Yes, said hen, and what a run we had. Oh no. The end. Okay, so I need your help in filling out my graphic organizer, which is just a fancy word for a chart. So we're going to look over here and I have some questions for you. So the first thing I need to know is what was the name or the title of the story? So if we look back at the story, we can find the title right at the top and it was called 
the chick that wouldn't hatch. All right, so I'm gonna write that. The chick that wouldn't hatch. My handwriting is a little funny on this. Okay. All right, so the next thing I need to know is the author. So the author is at the bottom, and we're just gonna do author today, Claire Daniel. So we know the author is written down here. So I'm gonna write Claire Daniel is the author. All right, let's see what my next question is. The characters. Can you think about who the characters or the people or animals in the story were? Hmm. They were chasing after the egg. So we know the one main character is the hen. She was right on the front cover. So we'll add her. Think of the other ones. All right. And we'll look in the story. So by the end, we had, let's see. Oops. By the end of the story, we had hen, pig, duck, and horse. And that's who's chasing after the egg. Those are the characters in the story. Because hen couldn't catch the egg, and pig couldn't catch the egg, and duck couldn't catch the egg, and then horse couldn't catch the egg. So those are all the characters in our story. So we can write pig, since we got him, we got pig, duck, and horse. Now you might have noticed on one of the pages there was a fox, but the fox never did anything or said anything, so we don't have to write him down as one of the main characters. All right, so the setting, where did it take place? Was it in a grocery store? Was it in a house? Was it on a farm? Hmm, was it in the airport? Oh my, I think it was on a farm. Let's check. If we look back in the story, you can see that it looks like it might have been on a farm, especially with all the farm animals that were around. So it took place on a farm. The setting is the farm. Okay, and the last question is what was the problem? What was the problem in the story? What was happening that wasn't good? Hmm, can you tell me? The problem was that the egg was rolling away and they could not catch it and it wouldn't hatch. So the problem was that the egg rolled away. All right, and we can put and wouldn't hatch in case that was your answer too. I have everybody's answer in there. Very nice, we've got a whole chart today. That's so awesome.